What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Today is going to be rewards day. We're going to get our elite reward. Oh no, just kidding because I've got stream sniped. Sud Americana grinds. What's up guys, Nepenthes here. Penref. Gone through the whole lot, right? I'm changing, like, I want to, I want the best possible team ASAP. So I'm getting away from this saving every card and just in case kind of mentality. And I'm getting into this whole do whatever it takes to get the best stuff ASAP uh, kind of look, which is why we're about to complete David Trez again. That's rewards day as well. So we get to the rewards soon. It's just that it's Wednesday night that I've started recording this. Um, and there is David Trezeguet. Now, the sole purpose of David Trezeguet is to put into the Premier League team of the season SBC to make it cheaper because I don't have the time to grind everything for it. Um, so basically, this is what we're kind of looking at so far. I'm going to go and finish this off and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. We're back. Oh, something inside me is telling me I'm going to get the worst. I, something inside me is telling me I'm getting a goalkeeper. It really is. Um, this is what we're turning in. The Manuel Neuer that we packed as a tradable but haven't used yet. We now have David De Gea. Bustos, who we've used about a billion times. Boateng and Hernandez that I just purchased. This Taram card, which we just don't use. And there are going to be so many more objective players and so much more to come throughout this game cycle. We're not going to miss this guy. Uh, Petros, who we got from our Saudi SBC yesterday. Easy, who we packed and then never really used. So he doesn't really matter either. Uh, Lucas Paqueta, who just doesn't get into our team anymore. He's just He was good when we got him. He just doesn't work for us anymore. The David Trezeguet that we just picked up. Uh, Pizzi that we had first owner. And Elianusi that, again, we got him as one of those what if he could be fun kind of cards. I don't want those kind of cards. I literally want to create the best possible competitive team that I can in a first owner environment. Um, so we're turning that in. The players that I do not want under any circumstances are either of the goalkeepers. I just don't want them. I don't want Allison, And I, I mean, I could use him in another SBC somewhere down the line, but I don't want Allison, And I don't want Henderson. And I just definitely do not want Soyonchu. Anybody else will, will be okay. Obviously, some of the beast attackers will be ideal. Please, man. I'm actually nervous. I'm actually nervous. I don't know if I can look. I'm not, I want to look. Please, yeah, don't give me the English flag. Come on. Come on. Spain. Wait, who's that? Right wing. Oh, Dharma. Oh. That's not a dub, man. That's not a dub. Like, he's faster than that. He's just not the one. He's worth less than the pack value. I mean, as a sub, he's okay. But you know what I'm like, guys. That reactions and composure is not the one. I don't know. Oh, my days. Ah, oh, he got Henderson. Unlucky, pal. I suppose Henderson... No, Henderson... I would, have been, I would have loved Henderson, actually. I would, I would play Henderson over Fred. Counter-attacking very much an option. Marcos Alonso. Adama. Go on. Go on! Ow! Oh, bangs it! One hundred and ninety-nine shot power. And he's got ninety-nine stamps, so he can just get straight back down there, you know what I'm saying? Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Oh, <laughs> let's go, baby. He's what I've been missing, man. He's doing everything Leroy Sané can't, man. If, if Sané was able to play like that, oh, mate, Sané would be jacked. <laughs> He's cracked, man. He, like, he doesn't, like, as I said, I was hoping he'd be the sort of player that would just far outperform how he looks, and he does. He's rapid as all hell. His shot is incredible, and he's strong as n an ox when coming back. Where am I playing Adama? Uh, right, right cam. Moses Simon. Richarlison. 
Let's go, Neymar, baby. Oh, GG's, boys. GG's. We are back. It is rewards day. We are back and it is rewards day. Come on, EA, man. We've got four items in the store. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, they're the, uh, the other packs. So, division rivals. I'm taking untradeable. That's what's at two rare golds, two megas, and two of something else. Two megas, two primes, two rares. That's all right. Hopefully, we get some nice things out of that. And then we have foot champs. Go, I, I choked elite by one because I got sniped. You know what I'm saying? Sun Americana grind and, and pen ref. So 50k coins in the bag. That's very nice. Please, EA. Please. Please. I don't want to look, but I want to look. I feel sick. I feel sick. Come on. Do you know what? Henderson can obviously... I don't mind wan -Bissaka. I don't mind him at all. It, he'll fit nicely into my team. Um, we, we can take him. That's okay. That's a small dub. This needs to be a big dub. Come on. Man. That's, I mean... I never, ever, ever get the attackers. I'm not kidding, guys. Since FIFA started giving out red rewards in FIFA 17... Right. I have I have I've never ever gotten the best players, literally ever, in reds. I'm gonna take Robertson. So we've got Robertson and Wambasaka. The problem is on my account on this team, the my defense is just heavy already. We're in like already a really good spot with the back line. I, I just don't need more defenders. I needed, like, high-tier midfielders and attackers. That's too bad. we still got a lot of packs to go, though. Um, two primes, two rares, two jumbos, two megas. Let's get those two rare gold packs out of the way first. They're, they're okay. It's, it's not as bad. Oh, boards. Come on. Be blue. Please be blue. Give me a team of the season. Yes, blue. Come on. EA. Brazil. Striker. Striker. Strike. Oh, it's one of the... Oh, man. Whatever, dude. Whatever, man. See what I mean? I just don't get good packs, man. Igor Rossi. At least he'll be useful for like... Well, not a lot, man. Not a lot. He won't be... I might put him in the league SBC grind, to be fair. He's probably cheaper than his silver card at this stage. All right, come on. Pack number two. No boards out of this one. Oh, man. All that effort. All that effort. At least we're getting some Premier League. What's up, girl? At least we're getting some Premier League players, you know. Um, all right, two, that's the worst two packs done. Let's get the mega packs out of the way next because the mega packs suck this year, don't they? The mega packs are not mega packs. The mega packs are bad. Oh, that's boards though. Come on, be blue, be blue. Not blue, not walkout. I could really use some good walkouts as well just for SBC fodder, you know what I mean? Um, at least we got... EA, anything? Something. All right, nothing decent out of that. What do we got here? Oh, some squad fitness is quite nice. That I don't need, that I don't need. All right, hopefully not too many uh, duplicate untradeables. Otherwise, we're going to be throwing away. This is the problem with taking uh, taking untradeable rewards all the time. We just got to throw that away. We just, got to, we just got to throw that away. And then mega pack number two. Come on, EA, man. Hook me up. Don't hook me down. Boards again. Come on. Blue. Not blue. Let's not walk out again. God damn it. Those two 100k packs better be sick, man. All right, another, another Premier League player. Oh, what other than Jean Moutinho in there? Come on, man. What do we what do we say? Oh, some, some decent stuff in there. Jean Mario and Dem. More, more, more cars being thrown away. And then two primes before the two 100s. Ah, please. Come on. Primes just suck, don't they, man? Primes suck. They suck bad. Primes suck bad. Hey, at least there's no uh, only one duplicate there. And uh, he's untradeable too. Prime number two. Two 100k packs. EA. I need it. I need I need a big pre Premier League blue. This is boards. Come on. Give me blue. 
Nope. Walk out. Nope. Cool. So we've got one low tier Saudi league team of the season so far. A couple more Premier League players there. We'll be able to build a Premier League player pack or two for now. Um, and then that's it. Two 100k packs. And that is the rewards for us done for today. Come on. It is balls that you expect it to be. Not even a walkout. It's not even a walkout. We have like Pope's all right. Uh, Masuaku, I suppose we can reuse. And then last but not least, my rewards. Oh, I feel, I just feel like deflated. Do you know what I mean? I feel deflated. Please, icon or blue? To walk out at least. Be Ronaldo, man. Save me. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. All right, Cavani. Hey, that's a decent 88 to put into another SBC. A couple other good cards in there. Some more uh, Premier League players. But that's pretty much it. All right. One Premier League pack out of all of that. Please. Two blues in one pack. Come on. Come on, yeah, man. At least give me boards. Give me the give me the chance. Not even boards. Screw this game, man. All right, guys. To end off today's video, we have got a little mini pack opening. Um, we're going to open the packs first, and then we're going to have a little discussion afterwards. So I've got a gold players pack, a mega pack, two rare gold players pack twice. Uh, that's from uh, Milestones, actually. Premium Electrum, Prime Electrum, Rare Mixed, Premier League, Premier League, Premier League. Uh, and then into uh, and then the 82 plus Premier League, which will open as a crescendo at the endo. <laughs> that rhymes. Um, so here we go, guys. Gold players pack to start with. Um, obviously, I don't particularly expect too much. Is that that's a, that's not a board, is it? No. Um, but the rares will put back in, and we we do we do need. I need some direction basically on this account. I need some direction. Because I have grinded the living daylights out of the Sudamericana, which has stopped me from doing anything else pretty much. Uh, which is okay in general because we've got our team to a really good point now. But now needs to become the point in time where we start grinding a different manner so that we're building up coins and almost hitting the league SBC so that we have unlimited opportunity to do anything in a time like today. And the reason why I say that is because we've got, at this point, by the time you're watching the video, considerably less than 24 hours to do as many Premier League upgrade packs as possible. But of course, I don't really have the coins to do anything with it. Um, we're going to get our first board here. Yeah, I don't have the coins to do anything with it because we've only got 133k. And uh, I, I don't really have like all... Oh, that's Berkey. That's nice. I don't really have all that much um, in the club in general. And so I, I got to kind of like change the way we're going and, and only start doing sbcs that are real upgrades to the club you know like real upgrades here we go we've got another board here feeling feeling all right here man go on be a center mid don't be aaron Gies. it's aaron Gies. um yeah I, we just got to get into that into that perspective oh this guy's a nice old amount isn't he he can go oh probably not for that much um and i think this guy is not worth anything um, and the rest of these cards will keep. Arangiz will keep, and Berardi will list up for the sale right now. Um, so yeah, I, I just, I guess, yeah, we'll take, we'll take, we'll take a bit of a look. So rare mix players pack. We'll take a look at the team, and I'll explain kind of where my head's at with it. Boards again, three in a row. Come on, be a blue, be a blue, be a walkout. No walkout, just boards again. We've had an eighty-five and an eighty-three. Want Aspas? No, it's going to be Morata or Costa. So 283s and 185 so far. That's all from marquee matchups at the moment. Uh, Premier League rares, of course, are still selling uh, like crazy. Probably going to come down in price a little bit now, though. Um, and then he can he can go up to the trade bar for the time being, and he can go. And then that leaves us with three Prem packs, a Prem 82 plus. In fact, I'll open I'll open a Mega pack, then I'll open the 82 plus pack, then I'll open the Prem packs, and I've only got three because. A, I don't really have that many rares in my club. Um, and B, I don't want to have too much duplicates when I when I open these packs. I, I typically don't have much at all um, in the club. So there's no real dramas there, you know. Uh, we're not going to be throwing away all that much. Oh, that is fantastic. Two 5k cards right there. Center forwards, Cam and Cam center forward. I'm going to hold on to those for the time being. Uh, the same as the Hawk because I don't particularly need the coins right now. 
but I might need the cards um, somewhere down the line. So here we go, guys. A eight, sorry, an 82 plus rated Premier League player. Just be boards to start with. It's not. So I've actually got an 82. Oh, EA, man. EA, I've actually got an 82. It's Ruben Neves. That is brutal. Three now Premier League packs to, to end off the mini pack opening here for today. Come on, give me a board, man. It's not a board in the first one. Just, just hit me with the blue. Just hit me with one blue. I'm not asking for miracles here. Oh, you are kidding me that I've got Ruben Neves again. That is crazy. Premier League players pack number two. And we'll have some of these for tomorrow's episode as well. Even if I have to build five or ten and spend some coins, we get no board again. Um, so my luck... And, and I was talking about this in general as well on stream uh, the other day. My luck on this account has been poor. I know I've packed a few okay players, Richarlison, Shapeshifter, and Neymar and such. But with the volume of packs I've opened... Yes, boards, come on, be blue, be blue, be blue. Not blue. I just wanted it to be blue. It's otter. I mean, it's, blue is there. It's just not the blue that I wanted. Is not the blue that I wanted. And this is why I didn't really want to do too many more than three. Because I don't want to uh, I don't want to have to get in that. So, here's where we're at, guys. That's going to be the end of the packs for today. This is my squad going into this weekend league uh, now. We're going to have Adama, Simon, and Richarlison, and Neymar up front. So, Neymar's going to be my central cam. Adama and Simon as my outside cams. Richarlison, Richarlison at striker. I've got Fred and Didi in at CDM. Then we're going to have Robbo... Uh, Maguire, Alonso, and Aaron Wambasaka in the back line. I obviously can, if I want to, use Laporte or Christian Fuchs in these teams, right? No dramas at all. Uh, they're both absolutely fantastic players. Laporte, I probably won't use anymore. Um, he's probably going to be one of those guys that gets sacrificed. But basically, of these five defenders, so the, the Christian Fuchs and these four here, that's going to be my back line. Obviously, uh, Robbo is off chem um on seven but well on eight but even on eight chemistry he's absolutely mental good right so once we put an engine i think on him would be really really good if not an anchor on him or whatever will be fine Maguire, i definitely want to get a shadow chem style four uh i i also thoroughly enjoy this Maguire card he just seems to work for me um and then whether or not i want to either start five at the back and drop Fuchs or Alonso into CDM with Ndidi and get rid of Fred or stay at four of the back and keep Fuchs or Alonso as a super sub I don't know um, also then Aaron Wambasaka will be our fullback great pace good short passing his dribbling's good physicals and good stuff are good and somebody said to me I should use him at centre back I might use him at centre back uh, medium high with four star skill moves I, I might use Alonso at fullback um, and Aaron Wambasaka at centre back I don't know I haven't quite decided yet um but that could be uh that could be an option and if we do that alonso will get a nice a much better boost there and robo gets a decent boost as it is we'll figure out that as the uh as the time goes on you know um and so outside of that guys we're looking at a whole bunch like let, let's let's put fuchs to the sides um because he's somebody that we may or may not use he'll be used as a defensive super sub regardless because his stats are just so good uh, we've then got Leroy Sané. Now, this this is one of those players, like, in, in terms of us have doing, like, completing SBCs going forwards, only using players that we truly, truly need to upgrade our club as an overall. This is one of those players that, at the time, I was desperate for him because our club was so basic. But he already is not fit for my starting eleven, and he's pretty bad, right? I thought this card would be insane, all-star skill moves, six foot, high medium work rates, really good base pace. His agility, his balance, his reactions, his composure, they're just not good enough, right? Not for what I want, not for what I need. And so when I play with this guy right here, he's just worlds above. 99 pace, 99 uh, agility and balance, uh, good stam, obviously really high actual dribbling, one more composure, a little less reactions, and then his shooting is like worlds better than Sané's. And of course, he's five-star, four-star, or four-star, five-star, which is great. And then even this Adama... Four-star, three-star, but in the games that we played with him, look at that, three games, three goals, three assists. Um, this card, again, he's got the 99 pace. He then has 99 agility and balance, nice two-ball control, 99 dribbling, 90 stamina, and 99 strength. Like, this guy is top tier with 97 finishing, 99 shot power, right? So even though he's four-star, three-star like Sané, 
these two cards are wildly different. Sané also has, look at that, better shooting, better passing, better dribbling, but considerably worse physical. And maybe that's it. Maybe it's the body type. Maybe it's the work rates. I don't know. Sané is not in our team anymore and, and doesn't need to be. Here's Raul Jimenez. I was hoping he would be good. High, high work rate, 6-2, three-star, four-star. So what the what big problem for me is, is that I get attached to players I shouldn't do. This card should not be in my club, not be on my bench, not be in my lineup anywhere. The reason being, he has three-star skill moves. If I seriously want to start getting 23-plus wins a weekend, I cannot be putting attackers onto my team that have three-star skill moves. So Jimenez is out. Bakayoko is pretty good uh, defensive player to have as a sub or to have as an alternative to start he's got decent stats i like this card three star five star he's cool to have on the bench and iose perez as well he's been decent off the bench four star four star which is nice off the bench good base pace good base dribbling great stamina off the uh off the bench uh and then great finishing as well so he's not bad to have on the bench and i would i would sub him on over sane every day of the week as well in spite of the fact that sane is globally better than iose perez and then Mesut Ozil as well is just one of my favorite players. I'll always love to bring him on. He's top scorer in the club. He's just one of the best players we've had. It's just a shame that he's just slightly behind the power curve, uh, specifically with his shooting uh, and his stamina and such. Um, but it's also fair to say that Perez could quite happily not be on the team. This Watkins card is useless. Again, three-star, three-star. Yeah, he's got really good pace and decent shooting and good stand, but 65 composure, 85 reactions. His passing is good, not great. This card we don't need in our team. In fact, let, let, let's just let's just bomb. Now, obviously, what I've been doing is I've been keeping a lot of cards in the fear of not it, like not being able to do objectives easily. But objectives, man, like the objectives are, are got to be starting being used for cannon fodder, right? So then we've got Julian Brandt. I like this card a lot. He's got high tier pace for a midfielder. He's four star, four star. He's six foot one. He's got high tier dribbling as a base setup. He's got high tier passing and very good shooting and physicals. So very nice there. I'd love having him on the bench. Alexandro, it's a sh again, we worked tirelessly for this card. Tirelessly, right? I honestly, I remember staying up till 5 a.m., like three or four nights in a row to do the Sudamericana grind like five or six times over to put them into this Alexandro because he required like, what was it, an 87 and two 86s or whatever. And uh, he's now not even, he, he's on the bench and he's another good defensive sub. Uh, but we now have, um, we now have Fuchs, Bakayoko and Sandro as defensive subs. And so with that being said, it's fair to say that Bakayoko is not being needed anymore. Sandro and Fuchs are brilliant as defensive subs. Brandt and Ozil are brilliant as offensive, or sorry, midfield subs like cam roll. Uh, and then Casemiro, again, I like this card a lot. The problem with this card is two-star, three-star, not the greatest pace, not the greatest acceleration. This card is a bit useless for us, right? So when we go into the uh, club again, we've got Raul that we didn't look at, Miranda who now just, because of the links and such, I just can't fit him in the team anymore. He's a quality card, but we've just got a, a defense too good. We've got Icardi that we didn't take a look at off of uh, off of this team. Uh, we've got Manalas who, again, I won't get rid of Manalas necessarily in an SBC but also I don't really care for Manalas because um, we don't have a goalkeeper to link him to we can only link him to Sandro we, we really just don't have the team to fit him into um, his his obviously his shooting and his passing is terrible uh, he, he's just he's not the greatest his ball control and dribbling aren't, aren't great he, he was good for the time that we got him he's not really useful for us anymore so so far we're already looking at Casemiro, Sané, Miranda, Jimenez, Watkins, Laporte and Manalas that I can dump into an SBC any given time Iose Perez is the same. Cavani, I don't care about. This Tony card just does not touch the team. Hasn't done. We can get rid of him. Bellarabi, I like a lot. He's going to come back onto the bench. Uh, we then got Condogbia, who again would be good for objectives, but generally speaking is pretty useless for us. Uh, you know, he's another defender that we have ample defenders for. He's good, not great. Uh, I've got to not get attached to him as a card. And then this De Costa card, I actually think is pretty good as a fullback um so he would be one that would be keeping just as a good again a good like opportunity a good good like utility player and then this Raphael, another sbc that we've done already that was a waste um we played 66 games with him which is nice mostly because he's strong links to neymar but he just doesn't fit into our team man he's he's a decent card he's just not ideal this jacobson is obviously quite useless and then we go into the uh, the regular cards right so when we take into consideration the bench that we've got Raul as the icon is nice. Icardi, 
is a good card. He scored a lot of goals for us and got a lot of assists. I like this card. It's just a shame he's three star, four star, medium, low. His dribbling's good. His shooting is great. His pace is good. Uh, it's hard to start him um, unless, of course, we take out somebody else. But I like my attack a lot right now because we've got four star, five star, five star, five star, four star, four star, and then Adama Traore. He's only three star, four star, but um, you know he he is the exception to the rule. And then on the bench, we've just got so much goodness here. I don't think Icardi would be the one that's on the bench. And so again, I, I'm caught in a world with re regards to like doing players now where the player has got to upgrade my team. If it doesn't upgrade my team, I should steer clear of grinding the Sudamericana for the 88s and instead grind the league SBCs to A, get a lot more packs and create a lot more profit and B, have a wider range of cards to put into SBCs elsewhere down the line. Um, so that, guys, is my starting lineup for the weekend league. This is the reserves for the weekend league. And that is it that I need in the club right now because I don't even I don't even really need to do now icon swaps. We've got Trezeguet. We're not getting Maldini anymore. Um, I will do Romarinho. we still got three days on him. I will do Cinco de Mayo and Ramadan kit. I will do the PSG retro kit as well. well actually, I probably won't. I don't care about this kit and I don't need the XP. Um, so we will do Cinco de Mayo for that premium gold players pack. Wasn't that a prime gold players pack before? Did they change that? And I will do Romarinho for an 89 rated SBC uh, or to put him in. Uh, but the rest of this, uh, Icon Swaps, World Beaters, I can do that at any given time. That's fine if I need it. And Syria, again, I can do it at any given time. But I can get two, three, four, five. I can only get six more tokens now uh, opposed to the tokens that I already have, which I do have a couple. Um, let's see where we're at with tokens. Um, quality, special. And then let's uh, let's just go and have a look. Um, I mean, look, um, our, our account is genuinely stacked right now, man. Like, we're in a great spot with it for sure. Um, we've got a lot of uh, Lib and Sud cards. So we've got one, two. I've got two extras, and we can get six more. Was that right? I can get six more. Four, five. Yeah, so I can get up to eight icon tokens. So I will get... Or I, can, I only need seven, I think, for the next icon. I, I don't think I, I don't think there's anyone there for eight. Yeah, so loud drops nine. So I'm going to take Litmanen, which is only six tokens. I have two. I can get the other four basically whenever I want. I've got 28 days to do it. And that's when when I'm desperate for a big player to put into a big SBC. I'll go and do the icon swaps tokens, get Litmanen. So other than that, for objective stuff, I don't really need anything. You know, like the, the objective players... I can do with the teams that I kind of have. Um, so I need to start turning this 135k into 500, 800, a million coins over the next week or so. I don't want to be sat here the whole time of this uh, this account, like working on a limited budget, having to grind the Sudamericana. And even though the Sudamericana has been great to this club, even just getting gold one going forwards is going to add two monster players to our club every week. And then all the other things that come along with team of the season. And the problem with the Sud grind is it takes me about 45 minutes to an hour, give or take, each time. So if I'm doing it three or four or five times a day, I'm putting three to five hours on any given day into that to get some 88s to make an SBC cheaper. Whereas if I put that same amount of time into trading, flipping consumables, um, the, uh, what's it called? The... Um, the, uh, I can't remember the name of the, uh, of the of the other thing where you just like sell sell players for more expensive than than they're worth, um, or doing league SBC, it would be a million times better, and we'd be in a much better spot. Uh, and then and then because this is a first owner club on a time like right now, it would be amazing to be like, hey guys, I've got six hundred thousand coins. I'm gonna say let's take three hundred thousand coins and build as many Premier League upgrades as we can put everything else that we get from it in a recycle. And then once we've recycled it, um, go, you know, go from there and uh, then look at what we picked up. If we've managed to get a team of the season or two or three, we'll call it a day. If we haven't got anything, maybe we'll consider dumping uh, a little bit more into it, you know, and that's what I want to be able to do because right now, and especially for the EPL, I'm not going to be able to do that because I just do not have the resources available. I don't have the res. I don't have the coins. I don't have the time, realistically, um, to get into a position very, very quickly to be able to do that successfully. We can start the uh, league SBC system um, and 
probably get a few packs here or there out of it but generally speaking we are working on bare bones right now and that is not how i like to have my account so the uh, system is going to change a little bit in time um, but to end off today's video guys a nice long video for you here again today fourth premier league premium players pack can we at last get one board give me that walkout animation nope see nothing so i'm just actually off of the back of this before we go i should be able to do um i should be able to do now one of the four player premier league upgrade packs or well, holdings are available to be put up there um because we should have had 12 premier league players there and i know i threw away moutinho and i don't think it's probably worth it doing these ones but hey man in for a penny in for a pound am i right so let's get this premier league gold rare upgrade pack here and uh it has to be 11 premier league golds so let's see I, know, I mean i know i have 11 premier league goals it's just if i want to use the uh the 11 premier league goals that i have oh this zoom accounts now doesn't he which is nice Mori can go in abraham can go in any two more Kuyate can go in all right so i'm i'm sure i have one more if not i'm just going to sacrifice somebody to the fifa gods and in return ea are going to give me something sick back uh zinchenko samato we've actually got a decent amount Obviously, I don't want to use the 83s and 84s. They'll be saved for another SBC. We'll, we'll take Giroud out because he's 82. Uh, we'll take Rudiger out because he's 82. We'll leave uh, Ruben in. Wait, what have I done wrong here? Oh, chemistry. There we go. Um, so this will be the end of the video for today, guys. A four rare Premier League players pack. Please, EA, man. My pack luck on this account. As I was saying to you guys, I've got a lot of good cards. Now, obviously, I grinded hard for a lot of them. But in terms of like true pack luck, when you look at my starting lineup, the only players out of a pack in there is Neymar and Richarlison. Richarlison was obviously out of the uh, party bag pack. Neymar was out of an 86 plus upgrade pack. And other than that, on the bench, nothing like Raul was an icon pack. Brandt was guaranteed most uh, community team in the season pack. There's nothing else in packs here. My pack luck in general on this account has been really, really poor. Maybe that changes here, EA. Please, to end. This is going to be a really long video today as well. Come on. Nope, see, no boards again. I just can't catch a break, man. I can't catch a break. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.